The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 210 pounds, King Fuller. This former indie star learned the hard way that success in the ring yesterday doesn't guarantee glory the next. Respect must be earned. And he got a PhD in respect thanks to training with Booker T. If you test the two-time WWE Hall of Famer and five-time WCW champion, you're definitely going to learn some tough lessons. He said he'll be making a statement in this match tonight and will deliver it emphatically. Enter the torture machine. It's like Drew Gulak flipped a switch, and he's always on on. A man who loves competition, but loathes his opponents. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Gulak has a mean streak and always looks like he's on a mission. He's a submission innovator, Byron. Has he ever cornered you in the locker room area once? Yeah, he got me, too. Most miserable experience of my life. No doubt, though, that he can get it done in the ring. Byron, you probably love Gulak and all his great presentations, right? Well, I've always loved PowerPoint presentations growing up, so Drew Gulak brings me back to my childhood. Back in your day, they used microfish. That's just a rumor. <laughs> Drew Gulak's partnership abruptly came to an end last week when he turned on his former student. Now they face each other in a matchup with some unusual stipulations. That's right, Michael. Gulak said there'd be no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Kind of stacking the deck in his favor, if you ask me. Those are all legitimate rules, and now let's find out if his former student actually learned anything. We know Gulak failed to fix his poor attitude. starting to pile up. suplex. Oh, and the momentum's clearly against Gulak now. Gulak has to start trusting his instincts at this point. Oh, knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Into the turnbuckle. He finds a counter for Gulak. Oh, look at this. Slapping them around. That's not it. Yeah. Ah. Picking up the pace. Yeah, momentum shift here. What a comeback this is. Ooh. Bam, collision. Bulldog. A superstar in full control. Drew Gulak with the Irish whip on his former student. Wait, was that legal in this match? He tripped over the ropes. And with the referee down, Gulak is showing you exactly the kind of man he is, breaking the rules that he proposed. Yeah, he's showing you that he's intelligent and an opportunist. The no-fly zone has been temporarily lifted. Leaving the ring, another rule violation. And now into the steel steps, Drew Gulak is completely taking advantage of this situation. He has no integrity. This is ridiculous. And of course, just as the referee recovers, Gulak initiates a side headlock. What's wrong with that? It's perfectly legal. Yeah, after he broke three other rules. You guys are nerds. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. What are we about 
Cactus. Oh, knee right to the hands. A third. Gulak's locked in the crosshairs now. Party's over. It's time to hit the lights. Gulak's in a bad spot. Check the numbers in his PowerPoint presentation to figure out exactly what went wrong tonight. This superstar looks determined tonight. 
Whoa, from behind. They're going to settle this right now. We're going to yeah. see the walls come down here. Yeah. This is out of control. I don't like the looks of this. I don't either, Corey. Not one bit. The backstage area is no place to settle your differences. He steers clear of contact. Knees right to the jaw. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Boom. Boom. Ooh. I able to counter. Oh, and that buys some time. Reigns able to sidestep. Yeah. yeah. Knew what Roman had coming. What a shot! Ah, oh, back fist to the mush. He's got the answer for that one. Power from the suplex. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. He must have seen that coming. Reigns connects with a clothesline. It's a recipe for cracked ribs. Evading offense. Super kick! Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard. Lining up Reigns, opportunities like this rarely open up. Perched on the shoulders, pow! Oh, just whipped into the table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. Flapjack! Ouch! He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Reigns averts the attack. And another counter. Super kick! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Carefully measured knee drop. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Elbow drop. Piercing. What a reversal by Reigns. Sequence of reversals there. Quick exchange of counters there. Elbow on the spot. And he barely evades. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Reverses it. Ah. Hoist it up. Boom! Feast!
Heard you're bad mouthing me in the locker room saying the camera. We are about to see something good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 210 pounds, King Fuller. This superstar's offense has been upgraded thanks to training with WWE Hall of Famers, Shawn Michaels and Road Dogg. Now he knows how to mix up offensive attacks and switch tempo during a match. The question is, can he take what he learned at the Performance Center and turn that into in-ring success? He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. one-of-a-kind competitor. The often imitated, never duplicated, Kofi Kingston. And his opponent, representing the New Day, from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston! Kofi Kingston is truly a man of the people of the WWE Universe. Yeah, that's the thing. Kobe doesn't just feed off the power of positivity. He feeds off the incredible energy of the WWE Universe. And packets. Yeah, how can he not? The nearly bottomless energy of Kobe Kingston. It's, it's infectious, guys. You know, Byron, years ago, I used to refer to Kobe's energy as controlled frenzy and that trademark athleticism of this great superstar. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. And with Kofi Kingston, it's like he's powered by frenetic energy on top of his jaw-dropping athleticism. And yes, I omitted the power of positivity on purpose. Off into the pin. Not enough pressure on the pin. He's going for it all. To the sky. Stomping, ouch. And he saw Kofi coming. Uh-oh, look at these repeated strikes. Here we go for the kill shot. This is a way to incapacitate every inch of your opponent slowly, methodically, and painfully. Ah. My goodness, look at this. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Oh my God. Deliver. Springboard. Shooting star to the floor. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Oh, it is over. Under the ropes and back into the ring. Target square on Kofi. He's in trouble. For Kofi, he's done. Looking for the victory. Two, and now he's going to do it, folks. Here is your winner, King Fuller. This 
This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. And here comes one of my favorites. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 210 pounds, King Fuller. Some fans first heard of this competitor when he had a tryout match at a WWE Live event. He looked great that night, but he's taking things to a whole new level now. It's a feel-good story for him, and I respect that he paid his dues, but we'll see how he handles the pressure at this moment. Time for him to get it. A multi-time WWE Champion, former Royal Rumble winner, one of the greatest of all time, Rey Mysterio. The ultimate underdog who is still a thrill to watch after 30 years. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. You gotta love an underdog story like Rey Mysterio's. It sounds nice, but I wouldn't know. I've never been an underdog in my life. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. And through an iconic mask, he has Rey Mysterio's eyes piercing at him. Rey has shown no hesitation, taking on a new era of WWE superstars. No hesitation to testing his own limits. There's always a lesson that can be learned when you go up against a veteran like Mysterio. So everyone should be taking notes. to the body, treating their opponent like a heavy bag. Uppercut. Oh, normal right suplex. Oh my God, springboard moonsault. Wow. And Mysterio there being taught a lesson himself. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. 
Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Who's stomping down? Oh, knee. And another knee. A succession of rapid knee drops. Rey Mysterio is in some serious trouble. Mysterio's fairy tale is looking dark, gentlemen. Mysterio with great evasion. The educated hands and feet. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Uh-oh. Here comes the superstar on the comeback trail. Momentum shift here in this matchup. This superstar is on all cylinders. And now he's really falling behind. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. He may get the three count right here. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.